Dunham is Dean of the prestigious Newhouse School of Public Communications at Syracuse University. It's a $20 million project and uh, I have to raise the money for it. The trails this journalist turned academician has blazed reach back more than three decades. Her path runs through the Lone Star State, where she was the first woman and the first African American to serve as the director of the journalism school at the University of Texas at Austin. I have always in my career, and some of it is due to the time that I came along, I, I've had the opportunity to be the first woman or the first African-American in almost every job I've ever had. Lorraine's trailblazing adventures began early at home in Philadelphia, where she set an example as the eldest of nine children. She earned a radio, TV, and film degree at Temple University, then began her trek as a journalist with reporting jobs at the Philadelphia Tribune, Cherry Hills Courier Post, and the Baltimore Sun. I got a thrill out of seeing my name in the paper, mm -hmm. and, you know, and seeing that byline. At The Sun, she was eventually promoted to editor, where her sensitivity to the importance of diversity and the power of news coverage would impact people's lives. To make sure that we were not overlooking the elderly or that there was not a, a, a small religious group that we weren't paying attention to or that uh, poor children were part of our coverage or that women were part of our coverage. She then seized an opportunity to return home and work in several positions at the Inquirer. While there, she became the first black woman to work on the newspaper's editorial board. Lorraine then moved to Florida, where she became senior vice president and executive editor of the Tallahassee Democrat, the first woman and African-American to fill that post. Oftentimes, the initial challenge is simply getting people to understand that you are competent, that you do have skills, and, and that you can do whatever it is you were hired to do. Her tremendous personal feats were significant accomplishments in the industry because with each step, she broke another barrier. I also like to think that every place I've gone and every place that I've worked, that I have helped to make that a, a more diverse place as well as a place that had more appreciation for uh, difference. And while she has seen diversity take root in classrooms and newsrooms, Lorraine acknowledges there is work yet to be done, especially in this age of digital and multimedia journalism. She worries that diversity issues are not evolving alongside changes in the technology-driven business. Yeah, thank you for your time. Bye. Good luck. Nice to enjoy the rest of the semester. Thank you. If we want to make sure that new media is going to be diverse, we're going to have to work harder to make sure that that happens because it's not happening naturally. From newsrooms to classrooms, trailblazing continues for this woman of many firsts. But for me, what has always been important was that I not be the last and that my being first would open doors for other people. The Philadelphia Association of Black Journalists salutes Lorraine Branham with the 2011 Trailblazer Award. Trailblazer.